Saving your work in Cubase is a very important skill to learn. There are essentially three different ways to save your Cubase project files, including the associated audio, MIDI and video information. When you create a new Cubase project, you will be asked for a default location into which you can save your audio. When you're working with an existing Cubase project, making changes and additions, it's important that you regularly use the save or save as commands from the file menu. Remember that using save overwrites the existing Cubase CPR file. Therefore, it's sensible to use the save as command, which creates a new CPR file each time you use it. It's also advisable to create a new name for each time you use the save as command, such as blues1, blues2, blues3. If you're working with Cubase projects that have a long period of development, it can also be sensible to add the date to the project title. For example, Cubase Blues, 1st of September 2007 and so forth. It's possible to set Cubase up to have an autosave function, so that every 5 or 10 minutes, the software automatically saves your CPR file. If you go to the File menu, choose Preferences, and click on the General tab, you'll get this menu here. You'll see you can click on the autosave, and you can set up the default time interval between each save that Cubase will make. You can also set up the default number of backup files that Cubase will make. For example, if you set this to two or three, then Cubase will make several different backup files. So if something were to go very wrong, you can actually go back several versions of your musical project. This is a really useful function and something that you'll need to set up and use every time you use the software. Anything to consider that is if you're working with large amounts of audio data and streaming multi-track recordings to the hard drive, you will want to turn the autosave function off whilst you're making these recordings. The last thing you want to happen is for Cubase to go into an autosave process whilst you're recording a multi-track song. Once you've made your changes here, simply click on Apply and then OK. When you've finished a Cubase project and you want to archive it, or you want to exchange your work with another musician, you may need to create a special file and bring together all of the audio elements such as loops and samples that you've brought from different sources such as loops and sample CDs, an external hard drive, or even a network drive. In order to do this, Cubase has a really useful function called Save Project to New Folder. In the File menu, choose Save Project to New Folder. Cubase will then ask you, where would you like to save this new project? In this example, let's use this folder called Saving, and let's create a new empty folder for this purpose. We'll call this Blues Save Project to New Folder, SPTNF. Now click OK. I can now decide what to call this project. Let's call it Blues Full Backup. And I get a series of options here, such as minimize audio files, freeze edits, and remove unused files. You'll notice that in this example, I have remove unused files ticked. And this will make sure that any audio that's within my pool, but which I'm not using within the final project, is not copied across to this new Save Project to New Folder location. Once I've done this, I can simply click OK. And you'll see that Cubase now starts to copy each individual audio clip and file from the original locations to this new folder. So if you're working with audio material from several locations, it will all be brought together. Once it's done this, you can open the folder, check that all materials there, and then copy it to a CD drive, external hard drive, or another location. If you open it, you'll see that all of the constituent parts of your CPR project are there. This is a particularly useful function for use in schools when students want to take their work home, or they want to port their work from one studio computer to another computer within the music department. Make sure you save regularly and you use autosave effectively because the last thing you want to do is lose that all-important examination file.